Welcome back to the Count Mohawk Show, everybody. I am your host, Count Mohawk. Today we're playing more Fire Emblem and Path of Radiance. Now it's time to look at all these different conversations, because we are in Chapter 9. What does Soren have to say? You had better be trying to make up for that fiasco you caused yesterday. <laughs> Only a few robes and musty books. So apparently I guess we're all cleaning up to leave this fortress uh, and go meet the King of Gallia is the problem. So. Fortunately, we have a convoy now, so we can actually take stuff with us as necessary. But beyond what we have on hand, we don't really have that much in inventory, so, you know, whatever. Soren, as always, is, uh, not, he's not wanting to, uh, to explain what's really on his mind, unfortunately. Whatever. <laughs> oh yeah, actually, they lost their dad yesterday, so, uh, like, everything is slowly starting to settle down. <laughs> Ike is settling into his role as the commander. Soren, um... I don't know. Mysterious as always, my mage. Now for Mist. Good morning. If I said I were, I'd be lying. Well, that's good. At least she is starting to come to terms with uh, her dad's death as well. But, <laughs> the morning sun has come to vanquish the terrible night. Hey, Prafa, how's it going? Hey, Cal Mohawk. As you can see, I am going through the info conversations in Chapter 9. You can take the book if you want it. Yep. There you go, boss man. I can miss her. Uh, the, the Grail mercenaries are figuring out now. They need to live through, even though Grail is dead, um, they have to live through it and kind of be the best they can be, so... Yep. Do the best... You hear that, you two? Be the best you can be! And the way to start doing that is by liking, commenting, and subscribing. <laughs> oh jeez, I can never say that with a straight face. <laughs> it, it feels like like begging, <laughs> which is not something Kamok ever does. What's Oscar have to say? Good morning, my fellow Green Knight. You did an excellent job last battle. So <laughs> apparently, they're not so good at fighting it that they can't feel aches and pains in the morning after kicking like fifty dead asses. <laughs> Well, you know, after breaking two or three lances. Right? Oh, that's true, actually. Alright, whatever. Remember all that happened last night. Not invincible. Not by a landslide. It means, naturally... Oscar, if you're trying to tell us that we need to be able to see the game board in the middle of war, uh, you're crazy. <laughs> whatever. It's like looking at Commander Grail. Well, he is in the sun after all, so. <laughs> <laughs> Ike's oblivious as always. Wow. <laughs> Put the Namby Pamby stuff down. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> From now on, when I practice, would you join me? That would be helpful, actually. Ike, you need to learn how to kill Lance users. So. Ike, you need to fatten up. You need to fatten up in general, actually. So. Once, once I get you relatively high up, I'm going to make sure that you uh, get your bonus experience fixed next time. Oh, hey, it's Mia. Veritable swordswoman. Unfortunately, she's going to be put on the back bench for now, you know? Doesn't matter how long I go to sleep, I always will wake up whenever I want to. Wish I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> Mia looks carefree, but she has thoughts. I just don't know what they are yet. <laughs> a dead perfect. I wonder what the backstory between them was. I would bet you if we ended up having a support conversation between her and someone else, we'd find out. Uh, Saranace Forest has pretty much anything you want to learn about. Um. <laughs> oh, she's also socially awkward. All the all the support conversations and anything else you want to read about. All the text that's it's there. So go look it up. So that is how a true man lives. <laughs> Excellent. So that, uh, I guess that's her story, but I'm sure she's not telling the whole thing. So we hired a swords lady, and she is all set to fight. She, uh, she gets knocked down, but she gets back up again. Not Mordecai. Hi, Morty. <laughs> Mordecai is the is like a gentle giant. Like, look at how tall he is, you know? I will talk with you as we... He's also... My words, are they well? <laughs> He's like a, a stout Russian, you know, almost. Except not Russian. <laughs> He's more like from the southwest. 
So, Texan, I guess. <laughs> Mordecai is better. Apparently, the Bjork and the Lagoos have their own different languages, so. I need no words. Oh, nice. <laughs> it's just being together, it's like you figure it out. Growls. <laughs> Sounds convenient. <laughs> but our tongue does not let us talk to other tribes. <laughs> That is not good. That is why we learn. You know, if you look, you'll notice his text is stuttering yep. as it as it scrolls. So, pay attention. See? <laughs> yep. <laughs> it kind of pauses like that. Using words that many can hear is good. He may be a, a fierce tiger, but he's actually a technical pacifist. Yep. So, that's a thought that Ike should learn. Some technical pacifism. Especially when it gets to level 20 and having him level and even further is useless. Anyway, we don't need. Can I? Oh, I can support Sora. About time. We're gonna need that support at A rank, but they didn't That's how much we spent. Supplies are running low. We need dried meat, fresh food. Ike, are you listening? <laughs> it's like whenever the wizards in Paper Mario talk and we, we doze off, you know? Yep, uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> You're tired. <laughs> Go sleep, man. You can tell. Technically, since these support conversations can happen at any time, uh, <laughs> uh, he's quite observant. Quite so. Alright. Go! <laughs> Actually, Sword is only this way around Ike. Excuse me? He takes offense at that. <laughs> uh, anyone else gonna support that would be useful at all? Let me just go buy some shit real quick. Like, I'll just sort my outfit and then we can go. Oh, the jump! Yes, it's so fast! Yeah, I get the truck out of the door. I stole that, you know? The purple sports, I don't want someone to do it. Let's see. Which one of the, uh, one of those items goes to defense? Oh, the Jewish one. Yeah. Let's attach it. Okay, from the cockpit, let me see what I have. I got your bow. Okay, I can't play it for you. Sorry, I got all this stuff. Take that iron bow. It's a steel bow, too, I guess. That's how these games work, bro. Yep. Titania remembers a little more of Galena than Ike does. A long time ago, when she was still a knight of Crimea. Which is why her armor looks, like, actually impressive, you know? Uh, later we'll get to see, you know, what actual Crimean knight's armor looks like, and hers, in fact, matches the description of royal knights. So... Walking at the horizon. Death. Grail knew where the old castle was. Maybe he lived there before. I wonder. And Titania is about to explain it, I think. Except that Leth is about to tell us, hurry up and stop talking. Oh, Mordecai, okay. Well, that was cryptic. What's up? Do you tire? Should we rest here? Not not so much. We got distracted talking. It is still a long ways away. We are <laughs> <laughs> She's oh, not well, more. She, I I know Ike is not yet the strong the, the strong specimen of um manlyhood that we are trying to tout him up to be, but any lagoon worth his claws could cross this distance in a single bound. It is the truth. She's not warmed up to us at all. Oh well. You ashamed the king. You sound like a fool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mordecai's let subordinate. That explains a bit, actually. What's wrong is wrong. He has a strict moral code. <laughs> Good to know. Anyway, unfortunately... Dun dun dun. The silence is never good, you know. The smell on the wind. Iron. Well, you know what that means? There's an army in the area. 
heavily armored and well armed. Oh boy. And if we scroll away, we can see... Ben. Oh no, look at all these bums. General Kotas, the Criminian mercenaries have entered our area of operations. Oh man, this guy looks like a smug snake. Yeah. Even more than Dakova from last chapter. Or whatever the hell his name was. Fort Tatana. Alright, so I guess they've taken over. Huh? Nice. So there's actually bums down south, and also bums down north on the beach. We're actually going to have to go to the beach ourselves, as it happens. Day and men. Okay, thank you for that visual observation. Are there any of those houses? Yes. If you look at the map itself, not the hard mode map, but the normal mode map, it shows what's in so. Does it not show us the two houses? There's some stuff. Oh, okay. It tells them to restore, yeah. Oh, okay, there we go. Restore staff cures status elements. Okay, so while you were looking at the map, uh, Lath and Mordecai are going to be joining into the fight, but they're not our subordinates yet, so they do it, so they, we can't command them as well as we would our own forces, so. Oh, good, they're, they're, our convoy is going to take our squishy units away. And we need to defend them, but fortunately we don't have to have them on the map, unfortunately. Let's move! Okay, let's look at the map real quick. Let me do that. Like... Hold on, Ike is 15 speed now, doesn't he? If he gets speed on the next five levels, uh, he'll cap it for his uh, underclass. Which would be useful, actually. Yeah. He needs 19 at least for this point, actually. To be honest. Yeah, there are these two houses, which we have to defend, because over here we have pirates. And pirates um, are like the bandits. They have high HP and stuff, and strength, and they're also able to break houses so you can't get the stuff inside. Other than that, it's just, you know, soldiers and mercenaries as usual. And then we have this bum. He has the Night Killer, so you can't horseman him, unfortunately. And he also has a Javelin, in case you try to arch him. And enough speed, so he's not weighed down very much by either of those things. Because he's a promoted class. So, and he has counter, too. Jeez. Okay. I don't, I don't think he had counter last time. Whatever. No one else drops anything of no as you can see, these guys are in yellow. We'll explain them in a bit, I guess. Um, one pirate, 22 army, and two young armies. Okay, let's save here. Bunch of pirates that show up on turn 5. Yeah, we're gonna have to go Plus north. there's guys that spawn me past certain thresholds. <clears throat> uh, there's one threshold that's like the, the bottom southwest, right? Yes. Okay, yeah, that's fine. We can deal with that. We're just gonna not go to the south until we're done be killing the pirates in the north. Oh no, Mist! What are you doing here? <laughs> so unfortunately, Mist and Rolf have decided they want to fight in this battle as well. So Ike is not happy about that because Mist and Rolf are level one units, as we're going to see shortly. Yep. Um, Mist, however, has been learning how to use a staff, so I guess a second healer is always useful. Would you not agree? Yep. <laughs> The little one, she means she can heal half your health, right? Uh, I think she heals for like 15. Which is not, which is useful. Uh, to be honest, the heal staff is really good in this game, so... Uh, and Rolf shows up too, and Boyd and Oscar are like, No! You can't do this, you're going to die! <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> it's no lie, actually he's been learning uh, from a certain other character who left the ground as a little while ago, so... He claims to have taught himself, he doesn't want to spoil the secret, so... And when did you learn to learn to use a ball? Unfortunately, he can't give away the identity of this mysterious person, so... Um, but Ike's like, we don't have time for this, so... <laughs> you can't just take a... It's not like a gun or anything where you can just... Nope. Actually, even guns require training. Yep. Not to mention there are no guns in this game. Uh, what's that thing that you talk about, like, fantasy gun control? Fantasy gun control. Is in full force in this game. Full force and fire up. <laughs> You'll never find a character with anything close to a gun. Pretty much. The closest we get is the crossbow in the next game. Actually. That's not a gun. No, it's not a gun. Although it's very good in Brick Wars, that's for sure. Yeah. So, while we've been jabbering away, Ike and the, the three brothers have been arguing about what they're going to do, so they don't want to sit around and wait and have fear about who's going to die in the next battle. So they're joining in so that they can help and keep them in sight and stuff. Uh, whatever. 
We take them with us because we can't sit around and, and send them back. Easier to protect people that are nearby. That's true. Plus, having a second healer is useful. No joke. Alright, so everyone in our team is currently on, on table right now. Alright, let's move out now. So Rolf, as you can see, he has a custom bow. Uh, which is actually about equivalent to the steel bow, I think. Let me just check Sora. Almost. It's got a lot better hit at the cost of one might. But it's, uh, for some reason, proof to Rolf only. So it's effectively an E-rank bow. And in the meantime, we have Mist down here, who is a Gibby Cleric. I lied, she can only heal 14. So, she does have a heal staff, though. Thankfully, oh gee, she's actually weighed down by that staff. Ouch. <laughs> staff has a weight of two, which really is one strength. Yep. Fortunately, um, she does gain strength as she goes. Like, it's not like a Gibby. And she has the miracles, so if somehow someone manages to hit her, she has a luck percent chance of not dying. Six percent currently, which is not great. Uh, if the miracle skill activates, generally you have lost um, just by dint of... of uh, Like, morally, we yeah. lost. Okay, we have to go north now. Come on, crew! We are going north! I, can you even use the steel sword yet without being slowed down? No. Ugh. I, you suck! <laughs> <laughs> it's all your fault! Jeez, man. Why do you suck so hard, I? I know, right? Da -da -da -da. Also, I gotta go, um... I forgot to direct these guys to do anything. So that means they're probably going to rush forward and get themselves attacked. Whatever. I can, I can deal with this. Steel Axe Man! I'll just have Sora go over here now. It's easier to get to. Rolf can stay out of range. We're gonna have one other reinforcement for our team show up next uh, on turn 3. Yeah. It's in green, it's not... No. Ah, there we go. Yes, yeah. she's not listed on the, uh... Okay. Parker phase! Now, I didn't tell him not to do anything, so... Uh, oh yeah, I probably should explain. Oh yeah, kitty cats. Uh, they do stuff. You know? Going for Ike, are you? There we go, softening the guy up. That's the important part, you know? And this guy oh, dies no. to Kitty Cat. <laughs> Actually, Wild Cat. Let's Beat not be, the cat. Let's not be deprecative here. Drat oh, the Lord in. Clonk. Clonk. Looks like she's. Looks like they're gonna take all your experience. I know. I have to tell him to stop. <laughs> I meant to tell him to stop where they were, but I kind of trumped it up. All right. By the way, oh maybe maybe I didn't have that opportunity yet because they haven't told me they can, that I can command them yet. If there is some special task you would ask us, we are willing to listen. Oh, good. Open your ears! Open the command menus! You must direct us. Direct us in capital because you have to do it. This is a Bjork fight. If you do not direct us, we have no reason for being here. So spake our king. That was an emergency. Because there were like 50 guys and we were half dead. We were in danger, so... Ike has the right of it. Here we go. I like how you guys are yelling from like... 75 feet away. I know. Hey! All the dance are like, huh? Talking is a free action, you know? That's true. Good fortune. Okay. So now, so as you can see, change? I have... What's that? No, they're still yellow. Roam means they do as they please. Halt means they stop. Target means they move towards the square that you target them towards. Which is I'm going to put them towards here. So they're going to move in that direction uh, on the next round. Also... They are Lagoos. Lagoos fight differently from Bjork. They don't carry weapons. They are feral... I guess not feral animals, but they carry around, um... Yeah, like... They have they have claws and fangs and stuff that they attack with. They transform into an animal and then they attack. Yes. They stay transformed for usually a limited number of turns. Yeah, only a couple of turns, yeah. Like, her gauge is only at 18 of 20. When it reaches zero, she'll turn back into a normal-born human. And, in point of fact, won't be able to counterattack either. And she's equipped to with the Bjork Guard, which protects against, uh... How's the damage done by Bjork attacks? Um... That might actually be what it does. 
But I could swear that, um... Where's the Lance guy shooting right I could swear that the Bjork Guard, I think that actually just protects against, like, your specific weakness. Yeah. Like, cats are weak to fire, so are tigers. <coughs> um... Well, that's, yeah. Nice. yeah, he could use it if he felt like it, but I just don't think he's going to. Alright, now, that's enough paddling on. Let's, uh, carve up some monkeys. Double, but it's not worth it. I need to harm him with a million on or something. Okay, Ileana, we kill him too. Okay. Try to find some way to feed a kill to, uh, for, to Rolf. You know? <laughs> also, I forgot to give Sword the Thunder Tome. Whatever, I can, I can fix that next chapter, I guess. Let's see. Have some fire, Scarecrow. Oh, Adams, okay. That's helpful. If he doesn't trigger it a second time, this guy will be left at 2 HP. Oh, well, no. never mind. <laughs> Soren wanted the kill! Soren takes the kill. <laughs> Whatever, Soren. There we go. He's gonna trade up for this stuff. And attack with the iron bow. Because I can't get this kill anyway, it seems, so I might as well just use the eagle bow. There we go. We're the bunch of experience because he's very low level. Um Boy can have this one, I guess. He's talking to Rolf. Stay by my side! You got it! If that's it. That's <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Nice. Oh, and Boy's gonna take offense at that. Hey, that's my line! Uh, nice. Okay, Iron Axe. Should have bought more of those. It's more like this one's about to break. Titania might have one on hand. If so, I could just scarf it from her. Yeah, four uses left. Yep. Oops. Titania's got one that's that's pretty well used, so that's fine, I guess. Alright, we gotta progress forward. Oscar, you go. Iron Lance is in good condition. You notice I had to use the short spear brush. That's alright. I'm okay with using the high level weapons in general. I'll put it here. Sand unfortunately slows characters down to like only. Although it also increases avoid and defend for no particular reason. This whole area does. So everyone fighting, you know, takes a little less damage, basically. Okay. Titania is not equipped. Oriana keeps on moving. Anyone injured? That looks like a no. For either of these characters, I guess. Whatever. We continue! As you can see, they have high moves. Cats move like nine, while transform at seven otherwise. Ow! Ow! <laughs> what the hell is he armed with? <laughs> A shotgun, apparently. <laughs> I'm gonna have to look at that in a minute, bro. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what a bam! <laughs> oh, Polax. Okay, never mind. <laughs> uh -huh. so ah, son of a. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> That's not funny! See if you can feed him to Rolf. Feed this guy to Rolf? Yeah. Okay, how much would Rolf do? Let's see. Nope. Nope. We need to hurt him a little more. No, Yana, hit him with Elf Hunter. Nope, that won't do it either, because he's slow as hell right now. Um. Shucks. Rolf, why are you so anemic? You can't sponge any kills. Like, jeez. Maybe if I can rough this guy up. A little bit with Yana or something. <laughs> this guy does nothing to her. C zero minor. <laughs> okay, do this. But whatever. They have low defense, so assuming. <laughs> <laughs> well, we knew that was gonna happen actually. So, um, I guess Ike. Um, Ike is gonna chase this bug down actually. Steel sword! Wow. Clonk. Very good! <laughs> wow. There we go. Now that guy's weak. Unfortunately, he's gonna kill himself next round, so that's not very helpful. Let's see. Oh, come the hell on. Ruffles bow doesn't help at all. Unless I throw a crit hacks at 18. Nope. <laughs> that didn't quite work out. <laughs> Whatever. We'll get him there, even if we have to use bonus experience. So there. Slain! I'm gonna have to have Oscar retreat or something. To within Mist's uh, healing range. Like heal 
first command. Fortunately, we got a few capable fighters over here to let us, uh, murder this blob. BAM! <laughs> Boyd's getting up there HP. He's 38 right now. Yep. Fighters typically do get a lot of HP, fortunately. So, uh, let's have the bait march out onto the sand. Also, Soren can stay here. Okay, that's what these guys range. Oh, yeah, that doesn't range. Oops. As long as it's not in both of them. Uh, yeah. yeah. So just this guy can do it. Okay. Yeah, okay. Um, he's not very fast, and Ayana's using her lighter tone, so I guess that's fine. Also, he's a steel axe? Oh, okay. In that case, she'll actually double him. <laughs> I think that's probably okay. Okay. Can your healer heal anybody? Yeah. Wolf. Mr. Heal Wolf. Yep. The thing about staffs is that they always get the same amount of experience regardless of uh, who does the healing. Mm -hmm. She just waves her hands at the staff. Riss can't do it yet. I mean, we're kind of bottlenecking here right now. Come on, troops! Go to your hiding hole! I'll have them bar the backwards while everyone chases us. Very good! They're going to the, the bait. bait. <laughs> <laughs> this one's going for Ike. Ow! Three damage. And 12 back. Apparently the steel sword weighed him down, so he didn't get to double. Yep, we're being chased by some guys. Good! Thunder has the lowest accuracy, though, so I guess that's okay. Uh-oh! Did that pirate run away? Yeah, he did, son of a bitch. Freaking boy. Oh, hey, it's Marsha. I remember her. And unfortunately, this... They're like bums in the way of everything. This guy is gonna get to the house. Can you sense it? Take after it? Possibly, if I kill this one off. No, actually, nope, she has... bogged down in sand. Yeah, it's like, jeez. I'm gonna have to, like... I would have to kill off a bunch of guys. One, two, three, three, five. In order for have anyone to have any chance. Let's see. If I can kill this guy off, Titania might be able to get close enough to get that guy off. Yeah, does she have a hand axe? Nope. And she can't go four in the sand. Damn it! We have problems! Oh, I may have to do some shoving. I wonder if I can. Nope. Ah! Pirate guy, why you flee so fast? Yeah, if both of these guys were out of the way, I could make a beeline for him. Or if I could shove him one. But unfortunately, I don't think it's going to happen. Because Boyd... Oh, Boyd can shove him, actually. Plunk! Ha! There we go! You die now! Time for splat! <laughs> Get away from that house! Very good. Shove saves the day. Shove, by the way, I haven't had to demo at all, but it lets you... Actually, I did in the other level. Yep. But yeah, it lets you push somebody. Fortunately, Boyd's at full health, so we don't need to worry about him. Titania is bait. Um, let's just start cleaning up some of these bumps that I kind of made. Instead of kill, you know? Elf Thunder would do it, if it hit. Go for it, Oyana! Oh. Drop the luck! Whatever. Oscar could gain range if I kill this poor bastard. Okay. Have some fire, Scarecrow! If he gets an adept, that would do it. Nope. No adept. Whatever. Only get some when you don't need it. Yeah, I guess so. When I was trying to kill someone else. Uh, maybe Wolf can finish him off now, though. Yeah! Look at this, bro! Alright, a kill! Plunk! I actually managed to spoon feed him a kill! There we go. Excellent. Now Oscar can go here and attack with a javelin. There yeah, we go! Got him. Ha ha! Splat! Down you go! Come on, Oscar, don't let us down. First level up of this chapter. Strength of defense! I'll dead. take it! What's that? Is he still wounded? Oh, shit. Um, forgot about that. Probably should have healed him before I sent him away. I mean, Miss can get close enough, though, but, uh... Water could send Riss, one of those two, and then that'll, that'll not be a problem anymore. Um, Wizard Guy attacks for 10, and is weighed down by his turn, so he only has 4 speed. Let's miss his speed. 7, okay. So that means that since the swords don't go too range in this game, I can actually, like... Her res is probably decent. Who missed? She's 7, yeah, so she's not in any danger from the Wizard. Let's just get Titania out to bait somebody else now. Now we can have Rick, uh, Miss move in and staff heal Oscar back to 29. Micromanagement! 
<laughs> That'll be my battle cry for a little while. Marsha is just going to drive herself down in the direction of I uh, automatically, so we don't have to worry about that. Two guys, how far are the guys going to the room? Oh, those bums? Don't turn away. Oh, uh, you know what I should probably do? Hold on. Let me go grab my... Oh, crap. I can't direct while it's while it's not this turn active. So they're actually going to park themselves here. Uh, but that's okay, because they won't, like... They'll hit Mordecai, but he's kind of a beast. No he's got 40 health. I mean, and 13 defense, so yeah, it's not a big deal, I don't think. I can have Mia stick around and help, I guess, if I need to. Also, as you notice, I am totally spamming heals. I have Miss do it first, because she can't top Oscar off, and then Riz gets to do it too for some experience points. Yeah, Mordecai stops there. I'm gonna redirect them to just bar the way next round. Oh, shit! No! <laughs> ah! That's not funny, John! Son of a bitch! 